Hi everybody and welcome to Quarantine Movie Club. Uh, we're gonna focus on Up this week. So welcome to the lesson introduction. Um, hello for me and my cowlick today. I'm actually in my classroom, guys. It's so good to be in here. But, you know, might just only be temporary. I just thought I'd um, use this whiteboard while I had a chance. So, okay, so this week's movie is Up. Disney's, we're still in Disney movies. Um, it's the movie with the house with the balloons and our focus this week is going to be conflict and the different kinds of conflict But before we get to that, I want to share with you the summary of the movie in case you've never seen it Okay uh, Carl Fredrickson a 78 year old balloon salesman is about to fulfill a lifelong dream Tying thousands of balloons to his house. He flies away to South America wilderness to the South America wilderness but curmudgeonly, Carl's worst nightmare comes true when he discovers a little boy named Russell is a stowaway aboard the balloon-powered house. So Russell kind of uh, changes Mr. Fredericksen's life, but we're not here to talk about character development anymore, although you can keep an eye out for it. We're focusing on the conflict that Mr. Fredrickson sees throughout the movie. Uh, we do have one conflict that is not mentioned in the movie. I could have picked a different movie if I wanted to hit all five, but I just really wanted to do this movie this week. So I'll go ahead and explain the next one, the last one anyway. Just keep an eye out for it. It's in other places, not in this movie. Okay, so um, a bit of background information on Up that I found interesting was, okay, it was made in 2009. The story of this movie was originated from the concept of like escaping reality when it gets a little too stressful, which is kind of pretty relevant for us in a very different way right now during quarantine. The animators were inspired by Venezuela, so they went to Venezuela and they did a bunch of research there um, on animals, on the environment, on the lifestyles. Um, the animator, blah, 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 blah. They took this film as a chance. I've kind of been talking about the animation in each of these. Um, they took this as a chance to experiment with creating life like um, textiles, like real looking fabrics, and you'll see their hair looks more real than. You could say in Wally or other Pixar before that. So that's how, how they took this as an opportunity to explore the fabric making aspect of animation. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Actually, I, I looked into it while watching and it's pretty impressive. Okay, so now we're moving on to our focus this week. I'm gonna make this video quick because my iPad's about to die. So we have five types of conflict in any story it sometimes it'll only be one present in all the stories sometimes it'll have all five i mean they just so happen to have four really strong ones in this movie that I, so i choose i chose conflict so the first one would be man versus society man versus society is literally a character and it does not have to be a man it just means like character so character versus society that could be man versus a group of people it could be man versus a club man versus his community man versus the government like whatever man versus self is more of that internal conflict that's when you know you're battling something inside your mind and you can't either make a decision or you have a promise to fulfill and it's bothering you or I don't know it's it's more internal is if you have to figure out something for yourself that's a conflict man versus self man versus man is one character versus another character that is pretty much the easiest one to spot. Me versus you, Scar versus Mufasa. I mean, like, it's it's pretty obvious there. Man versus nature. Man versus, that. an example of that would be versus a tornado. A man versus a lion. Um, anything that has to do with nature. It's man versus nature. It's something he can't control is man versus nature. This last one. I put in parentheses, like I said, not mentioned in Up, but it's very, I mean, it's, you see it more and more nowadays. Man versus the supernatural. So a man versus the supernatural is different because it's different from nature. Supernatural would be things that are not normal. So nature would be like a storm or a tornado, but the supernatural would be like alien invasion, zombies, ghosts, vampires, like that would be man versus supernatural. So, that being said, um, along with our focus questions this week, I want you to go and identify, while you're watching, a few examples of each of these for, don't worry about the fifth one, I'm gonna say it again, I have to repeat, repeat myself for you guys. Look out for these four while you watch. Along with that, and I will type these out for you, our focus questions of the week are such. 
Okay, number one. What is Charles Muntz? That's M-U-N-T-Z apostrophe S, I think. Muntz motivation. So what is his motivation? We talked about motivation earlier in the year with the Odyssey. So a character's motivation is like what really drives him to do what he does? Why is he existing? Why is he keeping on, keeping on, you know? Number two is why do you think Russell remembers the boring stuff? with his dad. So after you watch the movie, you'll you'll realize that this scene is a very, very, um, a soft moment. It's a really good moment. But why does Russell remember the boring things, the boring memories with his dad? Number three, what would Ellie think about Carl's want for isolation? What would she think if she were still alive and she saw Mr. Fredrickson act the way he acted? How would she feel about that? Also attached to that question is what would she think of his adventure? His wife, if she we're there. Refer, all right, number four, referring back to our old lessons, how does Mr. Fredrickson change throughout the story? So I did ask you about that. How, how does he like develop as a character? Is he static? Does he stay the same? Is he dynamic? Does he change as a person? And number five, what is the overall theme or main idea of the movie? Okay, so I hope you guys go watch that movie. I'll try to post some articles. I was really slacking last week. Post some articles. Um, I'll try to find something um, interesting about this movie, maybe some background information, some context. And I will see you guys on Friday on our movie review. Have a good week. Thank you.